this is our new little heifer, Cinnamon. And pepper. I say Cinnamon is like a Starbucks drink. Like a grande Cinnamon Dolce with sweet cream cold foam on the top. In the face is the cold foam. Okay, Ange, what are you doing? Building this up in here because it was really low. That's it. You have an audience. What? You have an audience. I, I it out. The cows. Oh. Ange and I are about to put the steel on the sides of this. Today, but um, we are starting back. Fast forward, it's December 14th. It's 50 degrees outside, which is just unheard of. And it's so nice. We're getting some air. We just did school. And I'm going to show you guys the lean to. It got finished. So actually, Angie and I did not finish it. We hired it out. <laughs> so if that isn't reality of life, then I don't know what it is. We got too busy with sports and school and all that stuff. So we hired it out. It looks great. And our cows use it all the time. All of our cows are in it right now. Actually, it's kind of creepy because when we pull in, we can't see any cows. And we're like... Hopefully they're inside the lean-to or this is going to be a disaster, but they love it. So that's nice. They're in it most of the time. They're either eating or they're in that. So super happy we got it done before we've had any major snowfall. So I'm going to bring you guys to that in a second and show it off. But right now we are playing, the kids are playing on our little sand pile where we have our greenhouse is gonna go so we don't have the greenhouse here yet but yeah and then in the next couple weeks we're gonna get the greenhouse here and ready before snowfall hopefully fingers crossed so I'll show you that right now one two three go Okay, so there's no change here. I've shown this before, but hopefully we can get it up soon. My goal is when we do get it up the following year, um, summer, I could probably get it done. The face of this greenhouse on this side right here so we can see it from the barn. I want to paint a mural on it. I really would love that. I love painting, and so I just feel like that'd be really fun, so... Stay tuned. I'll probably do some crazy time lapse of that because it's going to take days probably. I do have a big chicken update and it's not a good one. So the other night my husband went to hockey and he's like, hey, this is so weird. But I was driving down the driveway and I saw chickens like huddled down hiding. It was pitch black out. And he's like, they didn't make it into the run. And so he said, can you go outside and like put the door up so they can get inside? I don't know why they wouldn't be inside. And so I go out there right here. And there, as soon as I get out there, there's two dead chickens that looked freshly killed. And I look over 
and about 20 feet away are two possums running away. So I don't know if the possums killed them or if they were just eating the remainings of these chickens and something else did it. I don't know, but it didn't stop there. I got some chickens inside. They were freaked out. And then um, I take the side by side and I'm like, I'm gonna just drive around the property and see, cause we're definitely missing birds. And it was like, there's a dead chicken, there's a dead chicken. I found five dead chickens in a night. It could have been worse. We had, we had about 30 and now I believe we have 25. I need to go in and count them. But we have always been on the fence if we should free range or not. We should make a video on this because we, there's so many pros to free ranging but there's so many cons to free ranging and it's things like that where it's just you could wake up one day and your whole flock is gone so we decided that we are going to keep our birds in the run in the coop and they won't be free ranging anymore we don't i mean you could always do the chicken tractor for laying hens and we just don't have the ambition to do that um but and you could do like poultry fencing and all that but it's just easier in there with life right now um but yeah i they won't be getting into my garden that's a big pro they ruined my garden last year so as much as i'm really sad to not see them free ranging anymore it's a good thing because we know where they're gonna live you know this is like how a bra looks like it's sand <laughs> he did say goodbye to our beloved bull rusty he will be missed but boy does he eat a lot and kind of push things around like the hay ring um knocked over the poly wire a couple times so we're kind of running into some little dilemmas with him but he'll be missed we really loved him um but anyways i'm on my way over to the lean-to right now I'll show you a quick snippet of saying goodbye to Rusty and then I'm going to show you the lean-to. Bye, Rusty! Bye. Rusty the bull is on his way back home. He's going home. Okay, so here it is. And it matches the barn, so I'll go on the other side. And they're all in there right now, so I'll show you what the other side looks like. All right. I have to put my hand like in front of the lens a little bit because it's so bright, but we have Maybell, Cinnamon, Miss Pepper, Henry, Daisy, and T-Bone. And this is their favorite spot to hang. And that's a wrap. Lean to, bull is gone, new little heifer, greenhouse to come, lots of things in store. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again next weekend with a new video.